Live from the Xfinity Studios at WVON. We're your original social media. You're listening to Night Blues with Sir Henry Cheatham on 1690, the talk of Chicago. Another Saturday night here, folks. A three, four. And classic blues and R&B. My man Zach is here. Sir Henry Cheatham along with Mr. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher, I'm going to fire him, Zach. You think I can? I don't know if you can. I if think I he, could, I would. Yeah, I think he flexes his way pretty hard around here. Yeah, he does, man. Anyway, welcome to another Saturday night, folks, of classic blues and R&B here. Sir Henry Cheatham along with the... Uh, my man Zach on the other side of the corner, as well as Mr. Fletcher. And the boss's son is somewhere doing what he does best. Taking care of the old man, that's what he's doing. doing a, you're doing a good job with that, too. 
want you to uh, <coughs> be with us here until the uh, wee hours of the night. Stick with us all the way until 2 a.m. Playing for you nothing but the best in classic blues and R&B here on America's, uh, America's, mu America's music, great music here. All right here on AM 1690. You can catch us at WVON.com. We're streaming live on the Internet. And you can also get us at iHeartRadio. Just download the old iHeart app. And on your smartphone or your tablet, and you can uh, you can do that right there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you think I'm having a problem? You know? <laughs> I don't know if Fletcher might have put a hex on you. <laughs> yeah. Might have put the root on you. Yeah. Uh, get social with WVON on Facebook slash WVON sixteen ninety, Twitter at WVON sixteen ninety, Instagram. At WVON 1690, Four Squares, A-W-H-J-D-4. And, of course, Pinterest at WVON 1690. All here on uh, Classic Blues and R&B, WVON. A good place to be. Get social every week. Uh, you know, you can come on out here and uh, join us. You can also reach us in the studio here at 773-5914. Uh, 773 -591. One six nine zero. That's seven seven three five nine one one six nine zero. And also become an insider. Text W V O N to eight eight four seven four. Gonna win to the show now. I know I can't bag out now, right, Zach? Nope. How was your week doing? How your week? Did your week go all right? I'm pretty good. good, good Nothing good, good. special. Nothing special. Well, hell, you here with me? You're special, man. You know. It wasn't nothing special until today. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> no, look, every day is a special day, man. Take it from me. <laughs> it's a good day. Every day is a good day. <laughs> you can also uh, follow uh, Classic Blues on uh, Classic Blues on Facebook.com slash Classic Blues and RB. Go over there and uh, like us and leave your comments and all that stuff. I want to say hello to a few people out there. Brother Donald, good to have you aboard, young man. Uh, good to have you here. I uh, want to say hello to Miss Felicia. Yes. I got a couple of Felicias now in my life. <laughs> yeah, I want to say hello to Miss Felicia. I want to say hello to Miss Michelle. Always good to say hello to her. Uh, my great nephew, uh, Chris, and his family out there in the countryside, somewhere way out south, uh, way out west there. I want to say, uh, Lost a uh, dear cousin of mine this week uh, down in Jackson, Mississippi. Want to send my condolences out to those down there. Uh, just like a sister, pretty close in that community anyway. So send my condolences out to the family down there and want to say farewell to my cousin, Johnny Mae Taylor Richardson. Uh, so I want to uh, say happy birthday to Ms. Williet Young from Florence, Mississippi. She was born on, uh, her birthday is uh, May 2nd. She's 102 years old. She was born in Florence, Mississippi. Lived in Jackson, Mississippi, and she's now in uh, the City of Angels. City of Angels. <laughs> Out in Hollywood. That's right, I got to play some of that Hollywood stuff tonight too, man. <laughs> You know, uh, what's the day? Bootsy Collins and all those guys. Today is James Brown's birthday, I think it is. I think I got that right. I think it's James Brown's birthday. If not, hell, he's, he's a godfather, so hell, we'll make it his birthday anyway. We got a guest coming up tonight in the program, Mr. Charles Wright. He's a real funk master. Of the Watts 103rd Street Rhythm Band. You all know him. Still around, and he's still doing it. Hitting that old bass and whatever else he's doing, he's he's playing with the real things. Right? He ain't using the, he's not using that drum machine like you and I. Oh, <laughs> I can't relate. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a little Zach does that, right? He's the drum machine guy, right? Yep. All right, we're gonna get the program kicked off here with "Happy Birthday" here by uh, Solomon Burke going out for Miss Williad Young here on Classic Blues and R&B on AM 1690 WVON. Oh, do 
Many, many, many more. Today is a special day, one you never had before. I'll send you flowers by the hour with candy and perfume. I'm gonna shower you, pretty baby. Charleston Bay. 
his home and his family What you say? You'll be as happy as a monkey in a monkey tree Yeah Climb aboard, little one, sail away with me Ooh, sail away Sail away We will cross the mountains All chained and bound Love land. 
Classic blues and R&B here on AM 16 night. I don't know if you feel the energy, Zach, but I really feel the energy. What about yourself, huh? Absolutely. I think it's spring outside, too. You know, it really feels like a spring day today, you know. <laughs> you listen to classic blues and R&B, folks. You just heard from our guest who's here on the live line. He's already dialed in. Zach ready to punch him in. Mr. Charles Wright and watch one on Third Street Rhythm Band. And before that, you heard Gladys Knight and the Pips. Sail away to the land of free and freedom for the stallion and all that other stuff. And, of course, uh, Solomon Burke. That's one out for Miss Williette Young out there in Los Angeles. <coughs> Excuse me again. And, of course, our opening theme every night is none other than Mr. Raymond Charles. How you doing, Brother Charles? Right. Welcome to our program, sir. I'm doing great, thank you. How you doing, brother Chisholm? Oh, good, good. Glad brother to have Chisholm. you. Yeah, that's all right. Chisholm is good enough. Some people call me that. No, it ain't. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Oh, I lost my mind. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything going in Chicago? It's doing all right. We got good weather today. Not too bad. I didn't have to wear my overcoat today. What you call good weather? Well, let me say 60, 70 degrees. That's good weather. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. I don't know if it got up that high today or not, but hell, anyway, it felt better than it did yesterday, cloudy and overcast, you know. Yeah, we had, I went to an extreme, we had 90, like 93, 94. Really? Yeah, a little uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so but never the good, that's a good day. Yeah, every day is a good day, yeah. So, yeah, you got that right. Yeah, so what's How's your beautiful wife? Yeah, she's doing fine, thank God. <laughs> yeah, she's doing fine. <laughs> Keep him in All line. Right. She got a whip to keep him in line, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's what they do, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 So what's been going on with you? Tell us about it. Yes, you got a new CD, huh? Absolutely. I, I, I must not be pretty too wise, though, because I, I forgot that fight is on right now. Yes. You yeah, ain't kidding. Right on. I just thought about that, too. Uh, Merriweather. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What well, he's not I know on, everybody's right. tuning into that. Right. What they watching? Most people are. But the rest of us here... Uh, my new project is called uh, Looking for an Ugly Woman. Looking for an Ugly Woman. Yeah, I have a, a um, video on that stuff <laughs> out, and if you can get it on YouTube or you can go to my site, expressyourself.net, and uh, check it out. Um, uh, I think it's it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 the title in itself, Zach, are you looking for an ugly woman? Uh, I already found myself a woman. And she's pretty pretty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, that's most of us. Yeah, one, bro. <laughs> yeah I'm the pretty one can be ugly too, you know. <laughs> At times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got some ugly ways, right? <laughs> some of them can get pretty ugly. <laughs> you ain't kidding, you know. Why did you come up with that title? Well, I would, uh, some people want to know, they should just go check it out. You know what I mean? Okay. Because you can, it's better to you experience why I'm saying what I'm saying. Uh-huh. It, uh, yeah. And, and, uh, and I like you take that trip. It's, it's kind of fun. Okay, that's good. It's always good. Looking for another good woman. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's uh-huh. right. So what else? What other songs you got on that on that CD? We're gonna play that. Uh, oh, that CD is back. It's back with soul. Uh, um, I, I just heard that Solomon Burke. I, I want to stop and pause on that. Man, Solomon Burke. Yeah. That is very. I never heard that Happy Birthday song before. Yeah. I, I thought that was really swinging. Yeah. And Ray Charles, my God, was he into it tonight? Yeah, that's how. That's what we open up with every Saturday night. No kidding, man. That is great. Yeah. That's some hell. That's Ray Charles at the, down to the bone there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, now, excuse me. What you ask me? I, I don't know, Charles. I think I had a junior moment. <laughs> 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 what the devil? That? Oh, I think I asked you how you come up with that title. You said you let folks go to the website and find that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go video. check that out. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I. Uh, Oh, you asked me what other songs Right, that that's, that's what course in the air came to me, right? <laughs> yeah, right, came to me? Actually, it starts out with a song called Apartment Living on the album. Uh-huh. The album's not out yet, you know. But it starts with a song called Apartment Living. And it's, a, it's an instrumental. 
I think it's pretty effective. I think it's a very good dance song, so that's why I put it on there. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this: Are you still using the drum machine? Hell. <laughs> Somebody, Hell no. You didn't come on the show to be a soldier like that, did you? Oh man, I just, you know, I just went to the Urban uh, uh, Network uh, conference today. I was on a couple of panels there. Okay. And yeah, and this time, I, the last time I went, I guess it had to be seven, eight years ago, and I was so discouraged. But this time, it was just fabulous. Good. It was great. All the brothers and sisters came there, and they were positive, and they had hope, and they were expressing it. And some of them needed to have a little lecture, so I gave them a lecture about the drums and the drum machine. And there were some people in there who disagreed, only a few. But actually, once I left out off the panel and went out in, in the lobby, I guess at least 45, 50 percent of the people came up to me and told me they loved what I had said, that I had said it right and it needed to be said. But there were some brothers there and they thought the drum machine was what was happening. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, yeah. I, I know how you feel about the drum machine. I agree with you, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that was. Yeah, it, because, I mean, I was just telling a young man here who, uh, both of these guys, Zach and uh, Greg, they're both into music here. And I was oh, telling right. them about it. I said, you know, you take a drum machine, you know, you got that sound, that one sound. I said, but if you're a drummer, hell, you might want to change that sound up and you got a totally different sound, you know? It's not one really program sound. Fact, <coughs> matter of fact, every beat sounds the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. <coughs> it has no feeling. So, I mean, I don't know how we get, well, I know how we got here. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how we accepted this for so long. Uh, you know, when I go to, I, I do parades and stuff, you know, sometimes, and I see the look on the people's faces. <laughs> and, and, you know, Henry, people be uh, numb. Yeah. Their brains are numb because they listen. Not, we used to have a soul music, you know, music. Yep. We brought the stuff here. Right on, right. And it's just been cut out from under us, man. And the music they have, people bob their heads to it. Mm -hmm. Sim sitting up bobbing their heads to it in their car. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's all they can bob because it ain't going to affect the rest of the body because it doesn't have a rhythm. Yeah, that's for sure. Tell you, <laughs> tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play. Uh, what you want to play? That ugly, we're looking for an ugly woman, or we're going to play something else from uh, I got two or three uh, cuts from you here. Yeah, you got uh, uh, Thank God for the Night, right? Yes. And you got happiness. Right. You can play any one of them you want to, for what I'm concerned. Because uh, my whole album is that's been addicted to all that kind of music. Yeah. And the reason I was kidding, Charles, about the drum uh, machine is because, Charles, what is your motto? Real music by real no. music? What, what is it? It's by hum human beings, not by machines. Yeah. <laughs> that's something to load that ladder. That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go to uh, what? You, what you got, Zach? What you got queued up? You wanna hit something? Yeah, I can do. Thank God for tonight. How yeah, about yeah, that? yeah. See, then Zach, look at me. Think he's All right. you think he's an authority now? You know, you see when he's thirty something. <laughs> well, you know how he's younger though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're listening to classic blues and R and B here on AM sixteen ninety WVON. I remember the night when you told me That our love would always be But then one night You said goodbye Till tonight I did not see That instead of giving you What I thought you wanted Should have been 
your love for granted until tonight I did not see that I'm still giving you what I thought that you wanted I should have been giving you what you need yeah thank God for tonight Listening to classic blues and R&B, the music you just heard is our live line guest, Mr. Charles Wright. Thank God for tonight. So for song, Charles, I like it. Music is excellent. And you Thank you put very it in, much, young blood. Got good taste after all. Yeah, and <laughs> you put your heart into it. What do you think about it, Zach? <laughs> I like it a lot. I saw you bobbing your head there and patting your feet, too, you know. You saw me yeah, patting my feet on the horns there. They're in Chicago. Tom Tom Washington uh, uh, arranged those horns for me, okay. and they, I sent it to Chicago for them to record the horns on the track, and that's what they did. So oh, I, I really appreciate those guys. They're really great horn players. Yeah, Tom Tom been around a while. He's done a lot of stuff, yeah? Right? Oh, he's great. Mm. He's, he's fabulous. You got a great relationship with him. You've been playing, working with him for quite a while. Not really. This is only the second project he's done for me. Okay. He, he did something for my last album, 
and he did two songs on there, and he did this. <clears throat> and I, I, I really love it myself. I wrote that song for Bobby Womack and myself. Mm-hmm. But Bobby went out of the country and didn't come back in time to, to put his voice on it. Oh, okay. So you're going to do a duet, yeah. a duet, huh? Yeah, I actually wrote it. He asked me to do something with him, and that I wrote that for us. <clears throat> But he went out of the country and he stayed so long, I had to go on and do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matter of fact, I didn't hear from him until this evening. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard from him today. Okay, how's he doing? He's doing good. He's just had an operation on his eyes, so yeah. can't see too well. But he's sure in the hell can sing. Man, yeah, he's a good. Yeah, you're right. He's one of the good ones. Yes, yes, he can. You're absolutely right. Yeah, they put him on the stage and he gone, man. Mm-hmm. He set the place on fire. Right. So it's what, great. Yeah. So what else is going on with you, Charles? Tell us a little bit more about you here and what's been happening with you. Well, I just uh, I got this album together, ready to get it out there. The title of it is uh, "Be Careful What You Look For." And I, I'd say I just did the video on uh, the ugly woman uh, looking for an ugly woman. And uh, 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 nine other no nine other songs, including one that you just heard. Uh, thank God for tonight. And uh, I'm writing a book, and I'm about through with that. And it's a video book. Oh yeah, what's the name of it? It's called Up from Where We Come From, and it's actually about my childhood and my family's. Uh, Trials and tribulations in the cotton patch of Mississippi as a child. When I was up until I was twelve. Yeah. So you were there to pick a hundred pounds of cotton by that time, huh? Well, that was the problem with it in my book. That's what. There's a chapter in there called "Fork in the Road." That's <laughs> what my father always thought. I had a sister. Her name was Jessie May. She was skinny and bone. Look, she's the skinniest thing of all of us. But she could pick cotton like a cotton picking machine. <laughs> yeah. And she outpicked my mother, my father, and everybody else in the family. Really? And my father, <clears throat> you know, before uh, I got old enough to go to the cotton patch, where I was always begging to go, yeah. I was always helping my father out. So he thought I was going to be, oh, I was going to be a, 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 so bad out in the cotton patch, I was going to outdo my sister. Yeah. And, man, I couldn't do it. When I went out there the first day, it was a tragedy. <laughs> and I never did like it from then on. And he, I got to the point there, he he made me, he challenged me, told me I had to pick 100 pounds of cotton a day. Otherwise, I'd get a whipping. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I never could get it, man. And, and so we kind of split ways from being chums. You know, chummy, it was like we went opposite directions. And that's what the book is about. That's part of what the book is about. It's about much, much more. Yeah, when does it come out? Uh, to come out in August. Okay, a couple of months. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that sound, sounds good to me. How does it sound to you, Zach? I mean, I know you don't know nothing about picking no cotton. Oh, no, nothing about that. We're I just know secondhand from hearing from my grandfather, but uh, that sounds interesting. I'll be interested in reading it. Okay. Where are your grandfather from? It's from Forest, Mississippi. From where? Forest, Mississippi. Oh, yeah, well, he know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, he's been down around Jackson and Forest down there in Pearl County, I think that hell is. Pearl County, I think it is. Rankin County, one or the other, one of them. Across the river. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from the upper part in the Delta, in the, up there, 74 miles south of Memphis. And that's where most of your blues singers come from, too, Muddy Waters and all those people. Uh, what town are you from, Charles? I may know. Well, actually, I'm not from a town, but we live near nine miles south of a place called Clarksdale, Mississippi. I know what Clarksdale is, yes. But then just think nine miles south of there in the middle of the cotton patch. Mm, <laughs> That's some, where I was born, yeah. where I come from. Yeah, some community is what it was called. Huh? It was probably was called uh, Wrightsville or something. <laughs> no, nah, I doubt that. <laughs> no, Matson. Okay, okay, Matson. 
Yeah. Had some name to it. Yeah. Private grown. Yeah, Matson. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, as, speaking of the, uh, the of the rural areas, you know, the private <coughs> uh, them more folks are moving to the city now. I don't that the farms are becoming depleted. You know, and that's a problem for us. Well, well, we don't own the land mostly anyway. They don't want us anymore. For yeah, a matter of fact, they didn't use us up for what they want us for. Yeah. They got machines and chemicals to do everything we used to do. The chemicals they plant with the cotton. They want nothing to grow with cotton. Machine pick much cotton to two or three thousand people a day. They don't. They don't need us out there. And then we. Do you know the thing about Mount Bio? Yeah, I do. Mount Bio is like a black enclave. Right. The only place in Mississippi, I think, is such a place. And I was, I rode through there, I guess, about eight, nine years ago, and I, and, uh, I passed a lady on the side of the road in Mount Bow, yeah. chopping. I stopped. She they had so much to say. She said it was lonely. But she said all the kids, uh, the younger people are leaving Mount Bio, right. giving it up, man. Yep. And so they ain't not going to own it anymore. Right. That's exactly right. It was. I remember my father was talking about it, and it was the last place with the last hospital in the state of Mississippi that was owned by black people, ran by blacks. <laughs> yep. No kidding. I didn't even know that, but I, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get back to another one of your songs, what you want to hear this time. How about happiness? Okay, we're going to play happiness. You're listening to Classic Blues and R&B here on AM 1690 WVON, coming to you live from the south side of Chicago, and we're broadcasting to the world on AM 1690 WVON.com and iHeartRadio. Here's with Charles Wright, Classic Blues and R&B, Happiness on AM 1690.
You're listening to classic blues and R&B here on AM 1690 WVON, the talk of Chicago and the voice of the nation. You, I guess on the live line you just heard it, Mr. Charles Wright, Happiness. Charles, that's pretty, I'm telling you, that's pretty, pretty good music you got there, son. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Zach, how you like it? I mean, you know, you know, you got uh, Zach and I. We voted whatever Zach says, and Mr. Fletcher can always overrule us, Charles. Oh, Mr. Fletcher oh. gave me a big thumbs up, and I agree with him. I think it's good. Yeah, what was that little boy? Did he go home already? Now nah, he's over here watching the fight. Okay, ask him what he thought about it. <laughs> he probably can't hear for listening to that drum machine. <laughs> yeah, so Greg was bobbing his head. Okay. It's good. It's good soundtrack music to the fight because it's. It's upbeat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. How's the fight going? Uh, it's, it's pretty close. Mayweather might lose this one on points. Really? What what round? No kidding. It's it's round six, so he can come back, but it's well, no, it's eight now. Uh, so he can come round, back. I think it's twelve round though, right? Yeah. Mm. So he, he's trying to come back, but it's mm. it's gonna be a close one. Okay. All right. No kidding. Really? <laughs> Mm. Strange thing. I thought you make quick uh, mix of this so I, we can get on with the music. <laughs> yeah. I want to share this music with everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, child. Yeah, yeah, tell you what, child, you want to, I don't know how long you want to stick with it, you know, uh, you got what else you want to talk about. You want to talk more about your music. But now, that, that music, who did that arranging, uh, child? I uh, mean. You did all of it? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's real good, really. Yeah, I do most of my, matter of fact, Tommy, Tommy and I both arrange the other song together, mm -hmm. but I do most of my arranging myself. Yeah. I write all my own bass lines. Yeah, the bass line was kicking. That bass line, that bass line was really kicking. Ba -ba 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 -bum -bum. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes, Lordy. I, yeah. I call myself a bass player down in the basement. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love the bass, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it has a, a lot to do with how a piece of music comes out. The bass, that's the basic part of a song. Yeah, you got to have that bass line, that's for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, I won't hold you up all night. Maybe we can get on again when people are not watching a boxing match. And I, I mean, I, I can do... Uh, you can play Ugly Woman and you say, ask me whatever you want about it, except for, well, I need the people to see it, the <laughs> video so they can understand what it's really about. All right, so where do they go to see it at? They can see it on YouTube. They can see it, I think, on Facebook. They can see it on uh, um, expressyourself.net. That's my website, expressyourself.net, or www.expressyourself.net. All right, we'll share it on our Facebook page, too, Classic Blues. We'll share it there. Great. Yeah, and uh, we may probably have it posted on WVON.com, too. So we'll just send it around. We'll do what it is. Oh, that'd be great, yes. Okay. But, well, y'all, want to thank you very much, man. Anytime you want to, you want to come back, just give me a shout and let me know. Get in touch. Have your people to get in touch with me. You get in touch with me. And, you know, we're glad to have you. I enjoy you. I uh, thank you very much. And in the meantime, now, Please keep playing this, my ugly woman. Oh, I'm going to play it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Charles. You have a pleasant night, man, a pleasant day. Too. All right. God bless you all. God bless Chicago. All right. You're listening to all, right. all right. Good night, bro. All right. Good night. You're listening to Classic Blues and R&B here. Charles Wright, Ugly Woman. Have we got enough time for it? Pretty women, they'll break your heart. Some 
some people say, wow, what a beautiful thing. Oh, they don't understand, y'all. They can't feel my pain. If they could see this from the other side, they see that beauty just going on for the ride. Cause I'm looking for another woman. Yes, I am. Oh, my frankly, I don't give a damn. Looking for an ugly woman, pretty women they think they slick. Looking for an ugly woman, pretty women are full of shit. She ride around in the car with smoky window glass. She looks so dirty, but she ain't got an ounce of glass. To my wallet, stole 50 bucks. Chicago and the voice.